Hello students, staff, administrators, and those of you that are beyond our school walls. We would like to welcome you to the Law and Public Service News, otherwise known as LPS News. We are your source of middle school news here in Boyle Heights. I'm Melanie. The Law and Public Service Magnet here in Boyle Heights hopes that you will tune in to our channel to get all the information on what is happening in and around our campus. We look forward to bringing you all the news that you will need to be better informed. I'm Clarissa. We will start off with our story that is very serious. Every day we come to school expecting to be educated and have a good safe time with our friends. Unfortunately, that is not always the case. There is a behavior that is all too common and one that we do not appreciate, bullying. We asked a few of you on campus, campus just what your thoughts were on that matter. This is what you had to say. Denise, and I'm here reporting for LPS News, and I'm here with Christopher. And today we're going to be talking about bullying. Why do you think people bully? I think people bully because they could be insecure about themselves or because they want to feel power over someone else. Why do you think bullying affects other people? I think bullying affects other people in a really negative way because as many people have already seen, bullying has caused many incidents to happen that have resulted in loss of many people. Thank you, Christopher. This is Denise reporting for LPS News. Back to Hi, my name is Christina reporting for LPS News and today I'm here with Mrs. Garibay. How can bullying affect people? I think uh, bullying can affect uh, people in many different ways and one of them is um, it can make them depressed, it can make them feel isolated, uh, and it can make them also feel bad about themselves. How can people prevent bullying? I think that um, people can prevent bullying by maybe having activities where they can feel part of a group, where they are not isolated, where they can make friends. And then also, um, I believe that people should not be bystanders, um, actually allowing bullies to bully other people. They should stop them by either talking or reporting it to an adult, if it's a young person, um, or reporting it to somebody who has authority to actually do something about it. But definitely not be a bystander. Do something about it. Thank you. My name is Estina, reporting for LPS News. Hi, my name is Jade, reporting for LPS News, and I'm here with... Mr. Quintanilla. What are the consequences for people who bully? Uh, well, the district has a zero-tolerance um, policy for bullying, so uh, students can be um, suspended. They can be uh, even expelled from the district based on how bad the bullying situation uh, was or is. Where do you draw the line between bullying and joking around? Uh, well, in my class, I don't allow any joking around that is physical or anything that is of a nature of making fun of students. So I just don't allow any joking around, um, especially when we're working that way. We avoid the bullying situation as sometimes joking turns into bullying. Thank you, Mr. Quintinia. This is Jay reporting for LPS News. Back to you. Well, it is clear that there is no absolute no place for bullying at school, out of school, on social media, or anywhere for that matter. We all need to be sensitive to one other's feelings and keep in mind that at the end of every hurtful tweet, text, or comment, there is a young man or young lady that can severely have their feelings hurt. Well, we definitely don't want anyone to get hurt by others for sure. I agree that we need to stop bullying for sure. We also need to stop hurting ourselves. Many students decide to hurt themselves in many ways, and it isn't always physically. Unfortunately, some students choose to involve themselves and take part of drug use. We spoke to some people on campus about this issue, and they had the following words to share with us. Scared about drugs. What are you, what do you know about drugs? I really don't know much, but what I know is that they cause damage to you. Okay. If you were handed drugs in any type of way, would you take them? Uh, I would not, and I have been already handed. Mr. Some George, drugs. and I'm here with LPS News, and this is this is Mr. Chavaria, and we will be talking about drugs. Mr. Chavaria, have you ever caught someone with drugs at school? 
Unfortunately, some kids don't do the right things uh, at this uh, age level. And um, to answer your question, yes, I have. On several occasions, I've caught students uh, with uh, drugs on campus. What kind of drugs have you caught students on campus with? In the past, uh, the main uh, drug, illicit drug that has been on campus has been uh, what is known as a cannabis or cannabis. Uh, Weed. What are the consequences of you catch someone with drugs? There are several consequences. Depends on the amount, the type of drug, and uh, uh, what the situation was. But um, every single one of those has a repercussion, including uh, maybe even a ticket and maybe even uh, ending up in jail. So it's against the law for anyone to possess uh, drugs on campus, whether or not it is... Uh, something that's illegal or even if it's not illegal. Uh, underage st children should not have any types of drugs on them. If it is a medical drug, it needs to be approved by the, uh, have a have a doctor's note and be uh, with the nurse. Okay, so any kind of drug is not allowed on campus. Some, of, some drugs, if you have a, a medical prescription and you have a doctor's note, those types of drugs uh, go through the nurse and... Uh, they should have it uh, in their files and with them. And if you need to take it, you go through the nurse and take it. Other types of drugs, illicit drugs, are not allowed on, com on campus. And again, you shouldn't have them because it's not good for you or anyone. Thank you for your time, Mr. Chaudia. You're welcome. With LPS News, and this is Melanie. And how do you feel if you were handed drugs? Um, I guess mad and sad because I think people shouldn't be taking drugs what's your opinion on drugs i don't like them what do you think are the most common drugs at Holloman? i guess vaping i don't know thank you melanie for your time back to you guys drugs are a very serious deal we all need to do our best and avoid anything that will hurt our bodies both externally and internally we all need to realize that having a healthy body is important to young teens such as ourselves Let's all make an effort to be healthy always. Another way we can be healthy is through the sports that we play. Many students are involved in sports, either in PE, lunchtime, or perhaps off campus when they participate in different teams. We all know that, that being active is healthy and good for us. Let's see what our peers had to say about sports. My name is Jerry Chavez, and I'm here with LPS News, and I'm interviewing George. And today we're asking him questions about sports. So, George, uh, how was the football season? Football season was great. We had won our league champions, and we had lost in the region as well. All right. Uh, how was that experience? That experience was great. Um, we were out there representing Hollenbeck. Um, yeah. All right. Um, what do you think is the most played sport in this school? The most played sport at this school is basketball because most people at lunch would ask for the ball. Mm. All right. Uh, thank you for your time. Hello, and I'm, Matthew, uh, hello I'm Matthew Alicorn from L LPS News, and this is... Coach Danny. And today we'll be talking about sports. So, Coach Danny, what do you think, in what ways do sports can benefit students? Uh, it teaches, teaches them teamwork. It also helps them with their studies because in order to play at a sports after school program, they must have a, a, a GPA of at least of a 2.0. So at the same time, they can have fun, but it shows them that to be responsible in their academic work. Um, do you, what, what do you think is the most popular sport here at Hollenbeck? I will have to say basketball because I do supervise the West Blacktop area. And a lot of students do play basketball, and they do have their own games during lunch, even with students that they do not know. They just want to play basketball. Um, did you play any sports when you were growing up? Yes, I played soccer. I was defense and goalie. That was when I would throw myself, let the ball hit my face. But goalies have to block as any way as they can in order to keep on winning. In the end, did you enjoy playing sports? 
yes, I did. It's a good way to do exercise. It's a good way to meet new people. It's a good way to have that competitive vibe around because you do compete against other schools. Well, this was Coach Danny. This is LPS News with... Eric. So, Eric, what do you think or how do you think sports can benefit students? And if not, explain. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, could you take your time? You take your time. I don't know, they could uh, make you healthy, I guess. Thanks, Eric. Um, so, do you think sports are a huge influence in a student's life? Yeah, because you could uh, become a sports star when you grow up. What do you think is the most popular sport here at Hollenbeck? Uh, I think football. What is your most, fav- what is your most favorite sport? Soccer. All right, this is LPS News with Eric and Matteo Algon signing off. If you are currently a part of a sports team, congratulations. We hope that you are enjoying it and, but, and that you are taking care of your body. Like Coach Danny mentioned, sports can greatly benefit us all and make us great leaders. If you are not involved in a sport, stay after school and play and join join a team at your local park you know we can also be active and participate in our PE classes and to be well suited for PE we all need to have our PE clothes we can find that clothes and many more items our local student store the student store is located just outside of the student cafeteria and it offers a, a variety of items we spoke to a few students on what they enjoyed and thought about the Hollenbeck Student Store. Natalie from LPS News, and today I'm here with Melanie. And we'll be talking about the Student Store. So, Melanie, what is your favorite item from the Student Store? My favorite item from the Student Store is chips because it helps, it helps me like, kind of fill up when I'm hungry. Okay, and what do you think about the prices? I think they're... I think that they should lower it 50 cents because I can buy two bags of chips dollar like at the 99 cents. Um, would you say it's worth waiting in line for your item and why? I don't think it is. I only think it's worth it when it's a short line because in a long line, sometimes people at the end don't even get a chance to buy it. I'm Natalie from LPS News. From LPS News and I'm here with Antonio. And today we're going to be talking about the student store. So tell me, what's your favorite item from the student store? Uh, the HMS black sweater. Why is it your favorite item from the student store? Because uh, it looks nice. This is Christopher Ramos, and back to you, LPS News. Indeed, there are several great items at the student store, so we invite you to take a look. Make sure you represent our campus well and get your merch from the student store. Well, perhaps one of the biggest changes we noticed at the beginning of the school year was the time that school started and ended. That's right, the school schedule is different this year compared to previous years. Some of you welcome the change and some of us may not be too thrilled with the change. Let's see that we are able to find out. I'm Crystal and I'm here today with Miss Wade Smith, 8th grade U.S. history teacher and youth and law elective teacher. Today we'll be discussing over the new bell schedule. So, Miss May Smith, who changed the bell schedule? Uh, the bell schedule was actually proposed to teachers and we got to vote on it. Uh, it needed 75% of the staff to vote yes on the new bell schedule in order for it to pass, and it passed. Well, do you prefer this year's schedule? Uh, like I said, I have definitely found some positives in this year's bell schedule, but uh, overall the negatives of the impact that it's had on students this year have outweigh the positives, and so I prefer the previous bell schedule over this year's bell schedule. How do you think your students are coping with this new bell schedule? Uh, good question. Thank you for asking. Um, I think it's been challenging for them, uh, particularly using the restroom uh, with that very, very short break between second and third. I've heard students tell me that the lines are really long and because the break is so short, there's just not enough time for them to use the restroom. So I know students have been needing to ask during the day more often than in the past. They've needed to do that. Um, just seems like students are in general just a little more rushed. Thank you, Ms. Waitsmith. Miss. This is LPS News. Back to you. So, how do you feel about the new bell schedule? 
I honestly prefer the one from last year. Why do you prefer the one from last year? Um, I feel like the time we get out now, it's like not that much of a difference for the time we used to get out. And I really don't like how for nutrition it just feels rushed. And how do you feel about getting out school earlier? I don't really notice a difference. Thank you. This has been Kiara with LPS News. I'm from LPS News, and I'm here with Christopher. So how do you feel about the new bell schedule? I think the new bell schedule is better than last year's. Um, how do you feel about the shorter nutrition time? I think it's kind of balanced because uh, 10 minutes is enough to do what you need. And how do you feel about starting school later? Uh, I think it's better because that way they have, people have more chance, have more time to do stuff at their house if they're not ready. Thank you, Christopher. This is LPS News. We're reporting from LPS News. Today I'm here with Kimberly Martinez. Kimberly, how do you feel about the new bus schedule? Um, I think it's a good um, bus schedule because we get like 15 minutes out earlier, which means we don't have to deal with um, Roosevelt. Kimberly, do you prefer this year's schedule over the last year's? Um, in some cases, like yes, because we get out earlier, but no, because we have less nutrition time. So how do you feel about starting school later than normal? It's kind of like a waste of time, like low-key, because it's like you sit in a class for 10 extra minutes when you don't need to. But you have to because you have to be in class. I'm Clarissa reporting from LPS News, and today I'm here with... George. So which schedule do you prefer? I would prefer this year's schedule because we enter later, and I would always come late last, last year's school year. And how do you feel about the short nutrition time? Uh, I kind of don't like it because um, if people don't do their homework and they need nutrition, they will only have 10 minutes. And how do you feel about starting school later than usual? I actually like it. Thank you. I'm Clarissa, and back to you. Clear clearly, there is a difference, difference of opinion when it comes to the ske new schedule. On the one hand our break is cut in half but on the other hand we can go home early and come a few minutes later well it all depends on how you look at it good and bad it's our schedule for this year and many not be major but it's a it's an adjustment that we need to make well, another adjustment that we want all of you to enjoy is out of LPS News. We want all of you to adjust and enjoy our news channel and remember that we are here for you. So if you see us walking with our equipment looking for a story, please don't run or shy away. We value your opinion and would love to for you to share it. Until we see you again, I'm Melanie. And I'm Clarissa. Thanks for watching LPS News, where we bring you the news from within the walls of Hollenbeck and beyond. Have a good one.